no marks, no lice, just a perfect codlin in the sunshine. Thank you very much, Mr. Codlin. Let's see if there's another one. Thanks everyone, that one is for you. Good morning, everyone. And you wouldn't be able to tell it from this, from this boat race, but I'm actually excited. It's the last day of July and I, or we, are about to go cod fishing on the beautiful Cheswell Beach. As you can hear, it's stormy. As you can see there, it's lumpy and we've got a chance. So my name's Wayne. This is the beautiful Chesil Beach. It's the 31st of July and we, my friend, are cod fishing. Let's go. Yeah, this is not a drill. This is real life. It's unbelievable. Today, we're gonna fish hard. I've not actually got the bait I need. I wanted to get some fresh blow lud, not able to get any, but I've got some frozen blacks that I froze myself, and I've got some fresh ragworm that I got from Steve Perry. Believe it or not, last night I was fishing with Steve and Stu on the Solent. We fished till two o'clock in the morning. I've drove from the Solent to Chesil Beach. I've put in a 40 minute walk with hardly any sleep. Look at me. I'm a frail old man, but I'm here and I'm excited. So what I'm gonna do is get my rods ready. I'll bring you back. You know this by now. You know the drill, you know the routine. I'm gonna show you my rigs. We're going basic, we're going big, and we're going for the bang, bang, slack. A summer cod on this beautiful beach here in Dorset. Thanks again for joining me. As you know, it's a privilege and I love coming out fishing for you. So let's try and rip it up. Let's try and smash it up. And this one is for you. As you can see, we've got a beautiful sea running. It's lumpy, it's stormy, and it's coddy. That's what we like to say. When I was younger and up to a couple of years ago when the cod used to turn up in September, I used to go outside and I'd say, I can smell the cod, but I can still smell the barbecues. Well, actually, that's a lie. It's just been pissing down for about six weeks, but it's definitely summer. I've not even had my summer holiday yet. That's in two weeks time. Where we, us, we're off to Cyprus and we've got some great things planned. So I can't wait to take you out there. I've never been to Cyprus before, so I'm looking forward to that. And we're gonna get out fishing. We've got a few boat trips sorted and some shore fishing with some local guys. We've got it all ready in the bag and we're ready to go. And there we are. We're back in the shelter. So bait wise today, frozen blacks, like I froze myself. Some beautiful Southampton rag, like my good friend, Steve Perry dug me yesterday. Last night we we're out fishing for stingrays. I'm not sure if I put that video up yet, but we didn't get any. Ooh. But we caught a few fish and we made a nice little video. It wasn't that great, but it was Stuart, Steve and I out fishing, giving it our best shot. But I've got some lovely rag. I'm gonna bunch it up, three or four ragworm, tipped with two or three black lug, and we're gonna give it a go. I know I've shown you this before. So sometimes I don't really push on three or four ragworm to make a really long bait. So if a cog comes along, you're gonna miss it. So what I'm gonna do is make a compact bait. So as you can see, I've head hooked four large ragworm. And then what I'm gonna do is get my bait needle, like so, run it parallel to my bait. It looks a bit messy, but we'll get there in the end. I get my fine elastic. Pull that nice and tight. It's a messy job. And then I hold it with my hand and I just bind it on like this. You see this? Gentle. If I do it hard, I'll split all the tails. As gentle as you can get it. And you make a nice big bait. And what I'm gonna do, bind them on, just nice and gentle. Look at that. Gentle. If I pull that really hard, it cuts the worms in half and I end up with a big, shitty heap. 
look at that that is and it keeps all the tails in and there you go give it a pull that is a nice bait yes first bait's going in I'm not going to bang it today just going to plop it out there it's a bit of a bank behind me so just going to get it up nice and high and if I need to I'll cast low and punch it through the wind but it's not too bad we're just coming up to high so the wind's dropped out a bit. Ah, got an overrun on the reel. Ah, how has that happened? Oh, it's going out there lovely as well. Oh, oh my God. No way. Jesus. Oh. It's real everyone, I'm just like you, yeah. Another Python. Wow. This is hard work. But I'm going to keep going and hopefully I can fish through them. And there we are. We're fishing properly. Two rods up, nice and high. Seven ounce grippers on. There's some big baits out there. Yeah, it's carnage. I've had four or five Python now. And now I've dropped back up. Got my rods nice and high. Seven ounce grippers, as you see, holding nice now. Earlier, I was trying to hold with six, but oh, it just wouldn't work. In so we've got sevens on now, it's holding bottom, but yeah, there's not many fish around. Well, not many decent fish, but we've got a chance. What we want really is a couple of bang bangs and then slack line. But yeah, you still got to be on them. If I lack concentration for five minutes and I get slack lined, the line will fall on the beach and the waves will push a load of shingle up and bury me. The dreaded shingle word that sometimes you hear banding around on Chesil Beach. And it's normally the first time you come or if it's a little bit rough. But look, I'll keep fishing. I will keep trying. It's now nine o'clock. I'm going to fish all day. Well, I'm going to have to have a little sleep. So I might fall off my seat box again, which I've done before. Where I just doze off. But you know how it goes. Maximum effort. And I'm sure if I keep trying, I've got a chance of a summer coddling. Whoa, let's get back in the shelter. It's pretty busy. I don't mean on the fish front. I mean on the waves. It's good. Look at her. She's getting angry.
Nice. Now that is bait size so power in that. That's why my baits are getting stripped. But look at that bad boy. Something should have nailed that. That's the joys of having a circle hook above. As you know, I use a panel, a smaller hook, J hook at the front, and a big circle behind. So if something actually gets hooked up like that, and a cog comes along, it's gonna absolutely nail that circle hook. But look, I'm gonna keep fishing as long as these little chaps are about. We have 100% got a chance of a cod. So yeah, it's going all right. Loads of little painting, nothing else. It's fishing hard, but it's cod fishing in July. But yeah, conditions are settling down just a little bit, but I'm fishing well. I'm keeping the baits going in. I've actually put a bit of squid on this time because my baits are getting stripped within like two or three minutes. I've bulked it out with some squid, hopefully, to give me a chance. What I'm going to do now is have a snack. Um, you've probably seen these before in B&M. Benefit of Moners, that's what I like to call it. Um, but yeah, Blue Dragon noodles. So when I was away on the ship, well, a few ships in the Navy, it was a little treat when I was away. The naffy used to open up at four o'clock and they sold these bad boys. Now, I'm not going to lie, the nutritional value on this, I'm probably better off eating my shelter, but they taste nice. So, you know how it is. It's um, a bit of give and take. So yeah, I'm gonna heat these up. I'm gonna make myself a brew. As you know, I've been awake all night and I've only had an hour's sort of rest, not sleep. So what I might do is fish it down to low, which is lunchtime, have an hour of sleep in here, and then fish all the way up till high water, which is seven o'clock. Yeah, the painting had been a pain in the ass, so I thought, Ah, oh, I'll do something a bit different. I'll catch two. Yes, mate, on a penalty. Top and bottom. Anyway, I'll keep fishing. The painting are killing it. Look at that bait as well. There's a whole squid in four blacks. Beautiful. So what I like to do when times are hard and we get battered by a certain species, i.e. a whiting or a pouting, I put one out, it's bait, because everything's got to be eating on it. And in the fishing world, we call that matching the hatch. And that comes from fly fishing when the flies hatch. And the skillful fly anglers match a hatch. There you go. Did I really need to explain that? I know some of you are not very clever, just like me, so I had to. But anyway, I'll chuck this out there. We'll get us strapped in and I'll continue eating my noodles. Well, we're into a fish. I'm actually eating some sweets, so sorry. And yeah, the rod just pulled down gently. Hmm, I don't know. on a whole squid and some blacks. It's a better fish, definitely. It's not fighting though. But, uh, I think it's just another painting. Just a better one. Oh, wow. Well, ah, no. I can see what's happened. Something's had hold of it. I'd say a cod's had hold of it. Look at that, it's been crushed. That's why it's really heavy until it popped out. It's got marks all the way down it. Ow. Well, that's all right, eh? As you've seen, I put a painting out on that one. I've kept two or three of the smaller ones. This is the angle I'm going to go at. And I put a pouting out, naturally they're going to be eating them because there's loads. And it shows that I've probably made the right decision. Obviously, I didn't hook that fish, but there's plenty more out there. And if I keep trying, 
you never know. I may actually get one on a pouting. Nice. Ah. Oh well, I thought it was going to be um, a bullus actually, but it's a dogfish. I sort this little chap out, but he's nailed it. I'll get him back, but that's another species, but it's still not a cod. We keep trying. Well, as you can see, yet again, we've got the rain. I've got you in with me. Let's move you around. And there we are. Believe it or not, those rods are not even in the water. Guess what I've been doing? I've had a sleep. I've woke up and I'm all excited and I'm gonna fish hard now. The weather's coming in really bad about seven o'clock tonight, when yet again, 50 mile an hour winds and pissing down. So what I've got to do now is fish hard, but it's hammering down already. Lovely, the British summertime is here and we're loving it. But yeah, what I'm gonna do in a minute is get out, get casting, get fishing, fish hard like I'm in a match. Changing my baits every quarter of an hour until seven o'clock tonight when it will be unfishable. So look, let's get at it, let's get fishing. Wish me luck, it's part two. I've had a little sleep and I'm back in the room. Let's go everybody. Let's go and try and get one of these summer cod because I'm failing as we speak. And there you go, both rods in. It's absolutely disgusting out there. Sometimes I just think I ought to give up. <laughs> it's just, this doesn't give me a break. I know it's the same for all of you and this doesn't really matter, but it's so hard work. Just raining and windy every day. Just makes it so difficult. But look, it's not the end of the world. It's just a fishing video. So anyway, I'll keep fishing, I'll keep trying. Got a bit of a slack line on the left one. This is what I'm gonna do. I've tightened it up a couple of times. It's not a cod, I don't think. I think we might have a little pesky painting on the the sun's come out for a little bit. So, obviously we're getting, what we need now is a bit of hailstones and some snow. That'll be nice. But let's have a look at this one, shall we? Oh, got a bit of weight. Into a fish. Not gonna lie, it doesn't feel like a cod. But we're into a fish. That's all that matters. We're fishing and we're getting bites. We're actually getting loads of bites, which is, ooh, hello. I've just not had a cod yet. What have we got here? Another painting. Oh, it just come off. It was only a painting. Just come off in the surf. And just like that, the sun's out again. 
as I've said to you, we've got everything today. Just not had no snow or cod. Look at it, it's absolutely perfect for a fish out there. I just don't know why it's not fishing. I'm putting some lovely baits out there. Some frozen blacks and some fresh rag, squid, cut up pouting, whole pouting. Uh, held in then. Come on, son. It could be a bass. Uh, no, nothing there. Wow. God. We've got another species. We've got a bream. Not the biggest, but it's a different species. Look, we're on the fish. Honestly, it's been shit. <laughs> It's been so hard, I've been casting every quarter of an hour for like eight hours, apart from when I had a little nap nap. And it's really hard, I'm not really sure why, but I'll keep fishing. The tide's on the flood now, so we've definitely got a chance. I'm on chisel, I'm bagging up on mini species, dogfish, piting, and now a bream. Cheers, Mr. Bream. Ooh, let's get him back. Slat line again. Will we get a fish? Oh. Oh, that's better. Hopefully it's not weed. A bit of weight on there. Wow, what have we got on here then? Oh. Everyone, the wind's got up. I got weed on my rod. I got something that's head shaking. Could I have done it? Could we have it? Wish you didn't have that weed on the top. Could we have a codlin? Whoa. Could we have done it? If we have, not a big one. Whoa. It's kiting. Might need to pop this one. Whoa. What we got? Yahoo! Yes, mate! And just like that. Oh, he's absolutely nailed it. Look at that! Woohoo! It's a summer codlin on chisel. What a beauty! And there we are. Oh my god. It's been really hard today, everyone. As you've seen, I've had to battle and battle, and I pretty much have been hating it. Even though I love fishing, you know that. You know it. But it's been hard work, and we got there in the end. Look at that summer codlin on chisel. It's an absolute beauty, and it's in an amazing condition. What a fish. No marks, no lice, just a perfect codlin in the sunshine. Thank you very much, Mr. Codlin. Let's see if there's another one. Thanks everyone, that one is for you. I've literally just caught that cod and I'm just making up another rig and sort some bait out and the sea has just gone like that. It's been rough all day, but now it's really rough. Let me show you. Oh, she's got really grumpy. I've not got all my mics on, so it could be a bit blowy, but look. Look at her.
So as you see, the weather has taken a massive turn for the worse. It was due in at eight o'clock. It's now six o'clock and it's honking. It's probably 30 mile an hour winds now. We've got, I don't know, 10 foot swells. And I'm still fishing fine, but I caught that cod. We've had a great day. We've caught loads of fish, but we had to stick at it. And I'm, to be honest, everyone, that's probably the hardest I fish for us on this channel. Um, I'm pretty knackered. As you know, I was fishing last night. I seen a weather window and a break, and thank God I come out. Well, that was it. We caught bream, we caught congers, we caught loads of piting, and we caught a lovely codlin, probably over four pound. I've not weighed it. I checked it straight back, but that's fishing. I stuck at it, I made a plan, and it worked. What I'm gonna do now is get on, because at eight o'clock tonight, it's gonna be 48 mile an hour winds and lumping down with rain, and I do not fancy getting caught in that on the way back. So look, my name's Wayne, this has been the beautiful, angry, naughty, stormy Chesil Beach. It's a beautiful place, as you know, it's probably my favourite place to be in the whole world. And yet again, with a little bit of effort, we got there. Thanks everyone, and I look forward to seeing you somewhere else, or maybe back here next week. Look after yourself, cheers!